In this video, we're going to be discussing the various settings for the offer submission system. We're here on our home screen already. We're going to scroll down a little bit to where it says account settings. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Let's go ahead and jump down to the landing page settings where we can begin. And there's a few things you can hide from public view, such as the list price. And that's going to be removed from this page, the landing page when the agent goes to submit an offer. You can see the status, agent name, list price, and number of offers. Some of those things you can hide from public view. Let's go ahead and jump back to our account settings. And here's some of the things you can choose not to display, such as the list price, listing status, number of offers, there's also a See More of This Agent's Listings button, as we can see here. Let's uh, go ahead and scroll down so you can see that. If we clicked on this, that would show all available properties uh, by this listing agent. And back to our account settings. So we can hide that button. We can also hide the agent's name. Or we can show the assigned user for a listing instead of the account owner like it does by default. And last but not least, we can go ahead and turn off the entire offer submission system for all listings instead of on a per listing basis. Below that, you can also restrict the document types you're willing to accept. Maybe you only want to accept PDF documents. We can uncheck the other two Word document types and just leave that one checked. Of course, we would need to save changes at the bottom before those changes take effect. Next are the number of documents you're willing to accept on a single offer upload. A zero would be unlimited. Uh, if we wanted to limit this to something more reasonable, like maybe five documents, so agents aren't sending each page over as its own PDF document, which occasionally happens, we can go ahead and set that setting right there. Next are the optional form fields for the offer submission system. Currently, we have all of them activated, as noted by the checkbox, and they're all required. We can go ahead and change those to not required, or uncheck that to not show on the offer submission page at all. Next, we're going to check out the outgoing offer submission emails. This first one will show the that it's coming from the assigned user's name as opposed to the account owner. Next option, we can choose for the reply to email address to go to a no reply at eBrokerHouse instead of the account owner's email. And here are these offer submission notices. Whenever you get a new offer into your system, these emails will be notified. Uh, you can change those email addresses, add new ones. And same thing for uh, offer amendments. Whenever a, an amendment is sent in, we can go ahead and have these email addresses notified. In this case, we don't have anyone being notified at this point when offers are amended. Next is the offer document instructions. These will be the default instructions whenever you set up an offer document library, which is the set of instructions and also the document list so that can save you some time. Uh, next is the default for outgoing emails when you send emails to uh, offers that have submitted offers into that listing. And here is the message to the listing agent whenever they submit an offer. This is basically their confirmation email. You can go ahead and change what's in there or you can just leave it as is and we have something that lets them know the details of their offer that they entered. And next is the rejected offer email. Whenever we have something typed inside this box and we set the status of an offer to rejected, it's going to automatically email that offer and send them the contents of this box. So we can type up something generic like, sorry, your offer was not accepted. We'll keep it as a backup offer. Whatever you'd like to say for your verbiage, you can go ahead and type that in there. And last but not least are the offer submission system defaults. You can select which statuses are and are not available for offers. 
and which statuses show the Make Backup Offer button. You might want to have the Make Backup Offer button for pending listings or contingent listings, anything like that, um, or you can set those statuses to Not Display at All. And we can hit Save Changes at the bottom, and there you go.